Hey everyone, this is a quick video on how to create a cover collection, um, you know, multiple covers um, using the covers that you created with eCover Software Pro. In order for this to work, you have to create your images uh, as transparent background. Uh, what you would do is make sure that your transparent background option is checked in eCover Software Pro and then save it as a .png file and that way it'll, uh, it'll be ready to go. Right now I'm using GIMP, which can be downloaded at gimp.org, G-I-N-P dot org. Uh, it's a very powerful and free image editing software. I'm gonna go to File New. I'm gonna make my width 700, my height 500. You can do whatever you like. This is a good size for a standard web page. You can see here, this is the, uh, the size that it'll be. And then I'm going to go to the covers I created and open them as layers. So file, open as layers. And I'm going to find a uh, magazine cover, perhaps. Depending on how big you made it when you saved it, you might have to shrink it down. So you go to layer, scale layer, and maybe make it 300 by 300, and scale. All right, then I'll use my move tool, which is here and slide it over to wherever I want it to go. Uh, maybe give it a better name. Double click on the name, mag, and duplicate that layer. And it'll be the layer on top. I'll slide it over to where I want it to go. Now you'll see that the layer is a little bit transparent there. It's showing the cover underneath it. So once you get it to where you want it to be, just go ahead and duplicate that layer and it'll no longer be transparent. So then you just repeat the process, keep duplicating. So duplicate layer, take that top layer and slide it over, and then duplicate that one. All right, so now you have your little collection of magazines. And maybe I wanna go to another uh, cover, open as layers, maybe a DVD, open. Again, layer, scale layer, 300 by 300. And slide that over here and give it a better name, DVD, and duplicate it. Bring that forward, duplicate that one so it's no longer transparent. And I'll duplicate it again so I can slide the new layer here duplicate layer. So I've got my little DVD collection there. Now maybe I want to open up a uh, membership card, open as layers. And we got a nice membership card here. And I want this to go back. So what I'll do is I'll move it all the way to the back. I'll go layer, stack layer, and I'll go layer to bottom. It'll disappear. But then you just bring it up once, stack, raise layer. So now it's behind everything. And then I can scale it down. Layer, scale layer. Maybe I'll make this a little bigger than the others. Scale. So I'll have that behind. All right, and then maybe I get a uh, iPhone in the front to complete this uh, collection, this custom collection. And again, I go file, open as layers, and maybe get uh, this guy right here. And I want this to go to the front, so stack, layer to top. And then shrink it down, layer, scale layer. And again, maybe this one and two will be 400 by 400. And there I have my, uh, my image. So once you're happy with the layout of your collection, you would just go to File and save it down. And uh, as a JPEG or a PNG, whatever you like, and add it into your site. You can also then crop it so it's a smaller image overall. But that's uh, as simple as it is. Very straightforward. And uh, enjoy creating your collections. Thank you very much.